Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. This loading screen here from yesterday in FIFA 22 all but confirms, of course, what is coming on Friday. That is the Foot Captain's promo. There's a lot that we can dissect and learn from this loading screen. A lot to talk about with that. Some leaks, of course, with some insane cards that are going to be coming, especially a Marcelo item that looks unbelievable. I don't know if you guys have seen that card, but it looks cracked. So we'll take a look at some of the leaks. There are some leaks that make this Foot Captain's promo look very, very interesting. Not just cards and packs, but also brand new versions of Foot Heroes, um, with which there were two versions of cards, two different card designs on that loading screen, one of which we believe is going to be the Foot Heroes Captain's uh, card design. We'll take a look at that, and also the leak of Daily Icon Moments Player SBCs, which is very interesting as well. We'll talk about how that might impact fodder. Just kind of a first look from the leak that we saw from that. And of course, everything else that is going on with the market yesterday, right? We had some more insane price drops. Basically, everything that wasn't panic sold, you know, on Tuesday was panic sold yesterday. Right? Alan St. Maxman was still 4 million coins after the crazy market drop that we saw on Tuesday. He didn't drop at all. But then yesterday, he dropped down like 700,000 coins. He was down like 3.2 mil. And now he has rebounded back up. But there's some more cards and, and other cards that were still down from yesterday uh, that dropped even further on the market yesterday on Wednesday. So we'll take a look at that and of course talk about Thursday content today. What's gonna happen with fodder? Uh, what's gonna happen with our last showdown SBC that we are so hoping to see, which is Curtis Jones and Laporte. We did not see that yesterday. I think we might be seeing that today as EA's like last showdown, kind of going out with a bang with this little showdown series promo that we have had going on this week. And there's a couple SBCs expiring today, like the 85 plus times three, the 75 times five upgrade, you know, just kind of a last call for these if you want to get some of them done before they expire. So there's a lot to look at today. We're going to cover it all, especially considering the foot captains leaks and everything that's going on with that. So if you're excited for foot captains, because some of these leaks book look pretty spicy, hit a thumbs up on the video. And of course, subscribe. If you're new, let's dive right into it, right? Foot captains the loading screen dropped yesterday which confirms right we that basically confirms the leaks are being correct that's how things go this year right we get the leaks we look for the loading screen does the loading screen look for and confirm what the leaks say and then you know we kind of know what's happening but this all but confirms what's going on team one right you see that up here at the top that means it's going to be a two-week promo just as leaked and then two card designs here this is very interesting this is going to be on the right the card design that we see, the promo cards in packs, like we have the Yoris that is leaked, the Ben Yedder, uh, a couple of other cards that we'll take a look at. All of those are going to be promo cards, Foot Captain's promo items. That's going to be the card design for them. And this one on the left, we do believe we've cracked the code and it makes sense for this to be for these types of players. The new and upgraded versions of Foot Heroes will most likely use this card design because of what you see up top here, that little, little insignia that's got the football with the crown on top of it. And of course, if you go into FIFA and you search up your favorite foot hero, we'll just do Ginola, of course, because that's probably the most popular foot hero on this game. Mr. Ginola, and if you look at all of these hero cards, have that exact same little insignia on the top of their cards over there. You see the football with the crown on the top. So that is what we assume. And of course, with the leaks that we have kind of backing that up, that's going to be uh, what card design they will use for the new foot heroes. So I know there's a lot to talk about. It's kind of crazy. This promo is going to have a lot of different things inside of it, but it's all related to captains, right? Captains of the club that that player plays for or played for, whether it's icons, current players, or heroes, one of the three. Let's take a look at some of the player leaks that we have not checked out yet. Mr. Noble is going to be getting himself a card. I mean, that's going to be a card that a lot of people want to try out. Probably not the most expensive item, but pretty cool. A Mark Noble special card. That is nice. Scrolling up the list, we have a Cooper from Leeds United. Probably not going to be that expensive, but if you're a Leeds fan, that's a W card for you. Scrolling up the list even more, we have another big W here, Marco Royce. Now, I know this is not the card design that you see on the loading screen. This was before the loading screen was released when they were still using that old card design that we had seen before being used. Uh, I believe these are stats confirmed. Stats official, 92 pace, 93 dribble, 91 shooting, 92 passing. That card looks really, really good. So Bundesliga center attack and mid striker. That looks like an awesome card. Um, we just need like a team of the season Holland or something to link that up with. And that would be a tasty strike force uh, with two Dortmund players. But this Royce card by himself looks absolutely nuts. That's a pretty nice leak. And then, uh, oh yeah, we have an end of an era Defoe. 
uh, that was leaked. Don't know when this is going to be, but we haven't had an end of an era SBC in a hot minute. So that's kind of like a, something that we, we, we weren't expecting, I, I guess you could say. But uh, that's kind of a cool one. Not sure what we'll see, but we haven't even had this car design, like the uh, the special squad building challenge card or whatever it's it's called. We haven't even seen a card released with that in a hot minute. So that's going to be kind of cool. Whenever that drops, that's a big time GG. Uh, here's another one. Quagliarella, 90 pace, 95 shooting. He's four star, four star from the Serie A. Interesting card. Again, nothing incredible, but I like what this promo is bringing us, right? It's bringing us cards that haven't had specials before. It's giving us some new special cards for those players, which is cool. And it's not just giving us great cards. It's giving us insane cards. I mean, I still can't get over how cracked this card looks. This Marcelo is going to be one of the most highly valued cards in the game throughout the rest of this year in FIFA. These are official stats for this card. No, this is the first special card for Marcelo this year. And he has given him a 94 rated item. He's almost... Like 90 Hullet Gang. What do we call that? Nine Golan Gang because of like the nine Golan Tots card from a couple years back. 89 physical and 86 shooting are the only stats below 90. This card looks unbelievable. Now, five star skills, four star weak foot. The only issue you might have with this is the high low work rates. But it's still, this is going to be on the same, if not more, hype levels than like Danny Alves and Pedri getting cards earlier on this year. Uh, this is this is insane, man. This is incredible. He's going to be so expensive to start off with but that i mean this was the leak yesterday that just made my jaw drop man ben yetter royce marcello heading up this i think team one we believe all of those cards are going to be in team one there's a couple of leaks for items that might be in team two we'll take a look at one of those in a second but this looks i mean that's insane man so ggs to ea sports for giving that card the absolute sauce on the upgrade so many people are going to look to get this card in their teams and it is going to be very expensive of course but that's just an insane card. I mean, I just look at that and I'm like, wow. <laughs> I'm not even really a Madrid fan. And that just that just looks nuts to me. So GG's EA Sports for spicing up probably the best Marcelo card we've ever seen in FIFA history. Uh, and then the last leak that we have is for a Busquets. Now, of course, this is with the actual card design uh, Busquets. I believe this is going to be in Team 2 of Foot Captain. So don't expect this to be out on Friday unless um, those leaks are incorrect. But 86 pace, 93 defense. This is probably the best Busquets card we've ever had, uh, bar the screen Busquets that had like 299 stats at some point when all those shape-shifting things were happen happening. What was that, like back in FIFA 18 or something? But I still think this would be the best Busquets ever. So that's going to be a nice card. So this promo looks cool again, right? And I like the cards that we are getting and seeing leaked. Uh, as a part of this team, right? So there's some nice, really top-heavy cards in there. Like, again, the Marcelo that we looked at, the Royce, the Ben Yedder. Those are really cool. But then even I like the lower tier players, like Noble and Quagliarella, right? Those are still some cool cards with nice stats that I'm excited to see. Now, let's talk about the other part of this promo, right? The foot captains for the heroes side of things. How is this going to look? Now, this is the leak. Heroes captains should be in packs during the period during the captain's promo the actual heroes will stay out of packs while the promo is running um you know even as i read this again i don't know if this means our heroes captains going to be in packs for just the two-week promo or does this mean hero captains are going to be in packs from when they come out when this promo starts through the rest of the year i'm not entirely sure how that what that means or how that is being spelled out specifically um from this tweet right here but it almost sounds like he says all periods it almost sounds like they're going to be impacts from now till the end of the game kind of like icon moments came out later on and they're released through the end of the year but the actual hero cards will be out of packs while the promo is running i think so that's why i'm not sure what this means because a lot of times if they're pulling a card out of packs like for Dina Tale, who is leaked to be one of the hero captains that gets a card right this card is leaked to be out of packs uh, while the new version would be in packs. But then after that, are both versions going to be in the game? I'm not sure. So we're going to have to see what EA has to say about this. But some of the hero cards bounced up in price, not very many of them. Uh, I think Ginola was one of the only ones that bounced up in price a little bit. He went from like 270 to 285, 290. Now he's back down to 270 because it is leaked also that Ginola is not getting a new card. There's only a specific list of these foot captains that are leaked to be getting cards. Uh, it's not all of them for the foot heroes captains, right? Here's the list. Uh, Cole, Keane, Yunberg, Cordoba, Cahill, Di Natale, 
Gomez, Dempsey, Abedi Pele, and Milito. And again, this was something that we even talked about earlier on this year. Some of these guys are going to be changing leagues. Like Milito is leaked to be La Liga, not Serie A. So that's kind of one thing that we're watching out for here. I, again, I don't know if this is going to change at all. I'm just giving you the information. Like Footzone says here, David Ginola has not been updated to receive a captain's card. Maybe that will change. Maybe it won't. So that's kind of the interesting thing with these hero cards um, is that, yes, they're going to get boosted new items uh, with better stats, we presume, maybe some position changes, but we don't entirely know how long they're going to be in packs. We'll probably wait for some confirmation on that. This wording is a little iffy to me. Um, I'll just wait and see what EA Sports says about that in their official wording, but um, or if we get some more you know, info on that in the couple of days. So that's the biggest thing about these, this card design right here, the, the hero captains, right? New upgraded versions of heroes, not going to upgrade the current versions that are on the market, of course, brand new ones. And also there's going to be some icon related foot captains content. Foot Sheriff says that during foot captains, uh, we will see daily icon moments, SBCs to celebrate national teams or club captains. So that's going to mean daily player icon moments SBC is released on the game, which is cool, right? We actually have a leak here from Footzone uh, that shows and says the first three that we will be getting with one each day. Beckham, Baresi, and Zanetti are leaked to be some of the first icon moments players that we will get as foot captains player SBCs. Now, is this a W? I think it is a W, right? It's nice to have all these icon moments players um, in SBCs, I would imagine that they're going to drop them for a long period of time like they have with Owen and Socrates and Ashley Cole. This icon tab is going to get a lot more action, it sounds like, in this next couple of weeks with foot captains. So I have no problem with that. The only thing that I would like to say to EA Sports is just, again, continue to make them cheap. If you're least releasing SBCs like Beckham, Baresi, Zanetti, they're not the most meta cards, but they're still cool. It'll be something to craft during team of the season. Release them for a long time, 80 days or whatever it is. And also make them cheaper than the market price. Because again, we think about all those cards that we just talked about. And even a lot of the other icon moments that have been captains for their national teams uh, or clubs throughout the years. Uh, you know, these, 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 these cards are, you know, 800K for Beckham. And he's actually up because of the English, like the Kent links and, and the stuff with the English links that has been going on. Zanetti's 400K, right? Same thing with like Owen, who just had his moments SBC. These SBCs need to be pretty cheap. They have to be because these cards are going to continue to drop as team of the season comes out. Icons just don't have as much hype this year because the power curve and the meta of other promo cards on this game has just exploded so quickly. Again, why would you play with an Icon Moments card, uh, you know, when you can go play with the same Maxman like this? who is five-star skills, four-star weak foot, and has these kind of stats, you know, there's just more hype for promo cards this year because EA has released so many more and they've, they've increased the power curve on them on them so much. Yeah, Icon Moments do have some hype, but again, Icons have been dirt cheap throughout the whole entire year this year. And it's just because, you know, a lot of the promo cards have more hype. So my only request for EA with these daily moments SBCs is to keep them pretty cheap. But other than that, I mean, I'm a fan of it, right? I'm a fan of it. I can't complain. That's content, right? And that's pretty good content. And hopefully they put out some of the bigger names as a part of this as well. I know like Lam is one that people started to mention as an icon moments, um, you know, that would potentially get, oh my gosh, 1.3 mil. That's ridiculous, bro. I literally sold this card for 1.7, like five days ago. That's wild how cheap this LAM card is. But you know, that'd be a great card to get as an SBC. Right now, 1.3 mil. EA makes that price for the SBC next week at a mil. That would be a W, right? So that's that's a W. Does that increase fodder though? Now let's transition talking market side of things. Would EA releasing a bunch of icon moments player SBCs next week and in the next two weeks, would that hold fodder up a little bit? I really don't think so. I mean, it would be consistent demand, but icon player SBCs, even though they're cool, they just don't contain the amount of hype as they have in years past. And I don't think that fodder would continuously go up because of that. Of course, it depends on all the other content that EA releases, but you guys know what moves the market this year in terms of SBC fodder, right? It's the upgrade packs and it's the gamble packs. Those, These two types of SBCs are what make fodder move the most. So if we have you know, more SBCs like Prime Icon Player Picks or a Primer Moments Pack that is decently cheap, you know, that's going to move the market more than an Icon Player SBC would, in my opinion. Uh, so I just don't think that you can expect fodder to go up because of those Icon Moments Player SBCs. 
although it will be some constant demand for people that want to go out and get those done and uh you know they'll be nice to craft during a team of the season so that's where i want to start start by talking off with fodder let's keep talking about fodder why not because today's thursday and i know a lot of people that have invested in fodder like last week and of course it did rise but now it's kind of you know going back down if we take a look ramos has been my example for like this whole entire week ramos kind of you know they, they peaked on the weekend on monday right uh, before we had all this panic selling, before we had uh, a lot of this stuff happen on the market, a lot of these cards we had, you know, supply on Tuesday, uh, and we actually had lightning rounds yesterday as well. EA Sports, I have to take a second and talk about this. They ran lightning rounds yesterday, where the only new cards in packs were the, was the team of the week, and this Neymar has got incredibly rare right now, um, as you know, a very high tier, 93 rated Neymar card is going to do. I bought a couple of these earlier for 1.1 mil and sold them a little early. Uh, but they, they ran lightning rounds yesterday with no promo cards and packs. EA's out there grabbing the bag. Uh, but, you know, they put a Neymar in Team of the Week. No Mbappe. I understand some of you might be upset. But EA Sports reserves the right to do whatever they want with their game. And I think they pulled the Mbappe card back and put Neymar in because Mbappe has got a lot more specials compared to Neymar. Um, and, of course, that headliner Mbappe is getting very close to that Team of the Year. And they're about to release the Team of the Season. So... I think that's why they didn't release an Mbappe and the player of the month is out right now. So that's probably why, even though Mbappe maybe deserved it, Neymar also deserved it. So, you know, it is what it is, but they ran lightning rounds yesterday, which back to fodder did drop the fodder prices a little bit more. You see Ramos was like 33 K. He went down to 31. Now he's back up right now at like 32, 33. These fodder prices are going to drop more today. I'm being completely honest. And that's why we were telling you guys earlier in the week, I was like looking at like Monday, Tuesday is kind of the best times to sell this stuff monday looking back was the best day but i knew that once we got later on towards the end of this week that this fodder was going to drop off some because so many people had invested and they were going to be looking to sell so i think that you had all that hype earlier in the week and that was the time to sell but some of these cards are still up from where you bought them right i know you guys were buying 80 88s for like 25k and now they're 30,000 coins 32k so you're still making some profits but i think you're going to see people panic selling these today we're going to get supply from a new marquee matchups set of packs which not many people would open um you know because of course they might save those for the brand new promo coming tomorrow with foot captains but I think you're going to see the spotter go a little bit lower because people are going to be selling and undercutting um, even on the high tier, right? And that's that's why I was really unsure if this Ericsson card is going to be a good investment. He's already down to 75,000 coins. He's been slowly dropping because even if he goes to a 92, which we didn't get the fantasy upgrades yesterday, I'll talk about that in a second again as well. If he gets upgraded to a 92, he's already 75K. The, the next highest rated 92 is Lewandowski and he's 80K. So there's really not a lot of room to rise there. And um, I think he's also overinvested. So that's why I was saying I think I would sell that Ericsson and not invest earlier on this week because that fodder situation is not looking that hot. So that's kind of what's going on with the fodder end of the market. Now, with the meta end of the market, prices just continue to stay stagnant. Some of them bounce back here and there for a really rare card if there was a lot of panic selling. But basically what it was yesterday is if there were cards that did not drop on Tuesday, then they dropped yesterday, right? The example that I've looked at twice now is Alan St. Maximin, Coutinho, and some of the other top tier cards. I don't understand how this Usman Dembele is still 5.2 mil, but he's 3.9 on Xbox. I mean, I know he's down like 200K, but this Usman is due the plus two, which is probably why his price is staying up. But based upon the rest of the market, that card is even more overpriced now because yesterday we had a Coutinho that dropped from 2.2 four million coins where was he yesterday on wednesday he started the day at 2.3 mil went all the way down to 1.9 where he still is he didn't bounce back um you, sissoko dropped down from 400 to 340 our was down at 730 at one point he's slowly rebounded back and bounced back again saint maxman and rashford were also cards that got absolutely destroyed yesterday in price so if a card didn't drop on tuesday it kind of dropped again yesterday and a lot of the cards that dropped um you know, on Tuesday are just, we're just kind of stagnant, right? Like I bought Dybala at 1.09, sold him at 1.2. He's back down to 1.9. Paqueta is 680. Fakir still around that 330 range. Uh, ooh, Neuer 140? Ayo? That's down again. Neuer was 150 yesterday. So he's down a little bit more. And it's just, it's just kind of the same story, right? Cards 
are still down, right? There wasn't really a bounce back. Some of your rare cards fluctuate with some of the Real Madrid hype, you know, with the leak for the um, the Marcelo. You know, maybe this Cruz is going up a little bit in price right now, right? Or has a little bit more of a rebound because people are hyped about Real Madrid winning yesterday, which rolled to the finals are, are another talking point right now uh, on the market. But I think you're still going to see prices stay low today. Uh, really what you're going to wait to see for and look for is depending on how hype the content is on Friday tomorrow with foot captains dropping, then you might start to see a bit of a rebound. Like we mentioned, people are just going to not want to wait for three weeks to run their untradeable squads and to play weekend league this weekend. I think that Friday with some of these out of packs cards, if the content isn't really insane, it looks like it's cool, but we'll see of course how EA is going to do the SBCs, the foot heroes moments cards, how they're going to drop those into packs, how packable they're going to be, what the prices are and whatever SBCs we're going to get during this foot captains promo. I still think that you're going to see a little bit of a market bounce back, but it probably won't be until then. So just, just, Sort of keep an eye on if you want to play with some cards this weekend league that are from some of the most recent promo teams. I think Foot Birthdays, Fantasy Foot cards are all really rare on the market. They've all fluctuated around a lot in the past couple of days with this panic selling. Those are the items that might go back up a little bit more this weekend. But in general, again, I don't think prices are going to bounce. I don't think you're going to see Sissoko go back up to 430, 440, 450, where he was. You know, Martinelli was 600K. He's not going to go back there. I know you do have some of the live aspect of these fantasy foot cards, but I don't think you're going to see that big of a bounce back because a lot of people are just going to play with their untradeable teams because of all of the panic selling. They've sold cards. They've gotten out. And now they're just going to play with untradeables. Uh, and that's kind of, you know, how it's going to be for some people. But some people are going to get bored and want to go out and, and see and try cards again. So I think you could see a few small bounce backs. We'll talk about that in tomorrow's video a little bit more as well in terms of the market. Now, let's talk today. Let's talk today on Thursday. What can we expect content wise? Well, of course, that one last showdown that we're expecting to see Curtis Jones and Laporte. I hope that drops today. It kind of needs to unless EA is going to save that for Friday. Uh, because that game is coming up on Sunday. But, you know, keep an eye on your Premier League cards because if the SBC is really, really well priced, I know a lot of people have been investing in some uh, English links for like a Curtis Jones and hoping that he's going to be a really, really hyped up card. I mean, it, it does, it's all going to depend on how good the card is, right? If Curtis Jones is really cheap and it's an insane card, you know, same thing for Laporte. If, it's, if they're really cheap showdowns and the cards are insane, then you might see some of those links actually rise up on the market a bit. But if it's not, then you're you're probably going to see people. I know people that are investing in like Rule Breakers, Trent Alexander-Arnold. And while this is a perfect link investment, this card is really past the power curve. And there's a lot better right backs in this game, in my opinion, than this Trent. Uh, but it could rise. Again, if the value of the, the SBC is really good, you'll see the links go up because people will spend the coins to do the SBC and then link him in their team uh, with those English Premier League links or Laporte with some of those Manchester City links. You know, keep an eye on those. But if the SBC is like over 300,000 coins, kind of expensive, and the card upgrade is ordered, the card upgrade isn't that good, then, you know, you might not see those movements. So that's one thing that we hope to see today. Uh, marquee matchups would be another piece of content uh, that we would expect to see. And also, you just continue to see you know, last call for 75 times five, the 85 plus triple. I need to get on some of these and stack a couple of these before they go away. I really got to do that. I was saying that I wanted to stack some 75 pluses and I need to do this, do that, spend some coins and, and stack those up and hold them because I've kind of, I'm kind of started creating a, a pack stash, nothing insane. Weekend league rewards from last weekend. I opened my team of the week pack, made 60 K because all in forms are like 20,000 coins. You know, I'm not going to save all the little packs, but these are all decent packs. So whatever, might as well uh, at least save them for right now. And uh, I think, again, as I mentioned earlier, that's going to have a big impact on the market tomorrow. So we'll talk about saved packs and foot captains. But last thing, road to the finals, crazy games yesterday. I mean, I am absolutely mad with myself that I did not do the Serge Aurier um, SBC because I didn't do Prevard or Aurier, but Aurier is going to get the plus two. Where did this card go? Where's he at? I can't even find him. All right, I'll just search him. Oh, there he is. This card's getting a freaking plus two, man. This card's going to be nuts after Villarreal beats um, Bayern yesterday. So Bayern rode to the finals. Like the Lucas Hernandez card is in the mud. Thaliso is down like 40K as well. And this card is now getting a plus two. And Pavard SBC owners are in shock that Bayern couldn't beat uh, Villarreal. And Unai Emery, a masterclass once again. But 
Bale, and of course Real Madrid with a Benzema masterclass of his own right. Havertz is in the mud, right? He was down to 130. He's back up to 150 after the panic selling. Uh, and then Gareth Bale is up about like 50,000 coins. He was like 310, 315, 320. He went all the way to 400K. But the Real Madrid, of course, live item here has exploded in price because of that potential upgrade. Now, for all the games yesterday, there are no upgrades. Because again, those cards have already got their plus one for winning a game in the knockout portion of the Champions League. So no upgrades for those. The upgrade will only come next week if whatever team moves on uh, does you know move on. So if Bayern come back and win, this Tolisso would go to a 91. If Real Madrid keep their lead, go ahead and, and move on, he would go to a 92. So that's the thing with those. But again, like we mentioned, the Mares, the Liverpool, the Liverpool and Manchester City road to the finals should be getting a plus one this weekend because that was their first win in the knockout stages after Road to the Finals were released on the game. So keep an eye out for that. That's still a, a bit of a confusing point and maybe even confusing for EA. Who knows at this point? Uh, but that was kind of going on with those cards yesterday on the market. And we didn't get the Fantasy Foot upgrades, man. I don't know. This, this really makes me ask questions because I was really hoping that they were going to upgrade these cards like week by week based off of the games. But now I'm actually kind of worried. Like, are EA not going to upgrade these fantasy foot cards until like all five league matches have been played? If that's the case, then we're not going to get these upgrades for like another like month. Honestly, it's going to be another three to four, maybe even five weeks until all these players get their fifth game for the league, um, you know, requirement for these for these fantasy foot cards played. So I'm, I'm not a huge fan of that at all. The other thing that could be is maybe they upgrade these cards on the weekend. Since EA didn't tell us when they're going to upgrade them, that's the pain about this process. We have no idea when they're upgrading these cards. So that's the biggest disappointment with these. Hopefully we get some, you know, communication on that or they just get upgraded soon. I would watch here in the game if they add a new card design like the Fantasy Foot upgraded one. Again, the more orange one. Yeah, so we uh, we don't know what EA is going to do with that. That's on EA, right? Just give us some more communication so that we don't have to sit here and try to guess. So hopefully it's this weekend, but if not, then it might be at the end of the five games, which again is just way too long. We'll be well, like we'll be in the team of the season time frame before that happens for these cards. If that's when they get the upgrade, that would be a big disappointment. But uh, that's kind of the information from yesterday as well. And then I, I know some of you guys are asking about showdowns, like when. Is my um, Brozovic going to get upgraded? This main man himself, this guy's a tank, by the way. Weghorst, Burnley scored. Cornet scored for Burnley in like the uh, 85th minute yesterday. And he is getting a plus two because they beat Everton. No upgrade for Richarlison, plus two for Weghorst. These cards are getting upgraded tomorrow, some of them. Uh, the earlier games from earlier on this week are getting upgraded tomorrow on Friday. But since like Rangers, Kent um, plays today, I don't think he's going to get upgraded tomorrow. I think he might not get upgraded until the 12th. EA said that the 8th and the 12th would be days that they would upgrade the uh, the showdown cards. So I would expect Braithwaite to get an upgrade. Um, maybe Weghorst, he's kind of like on that not sure range. And then Kent would probably not be until the 12th, depending on the game result today on the, on Thursday with Europa League. So that's kind of the upgrade time frame for those showdown cards. But again, it's exciting times because yes, this foot captain's promo is very interesting, but also... Uh, I think there's some reason to be hype, and I think that some of the panic selling you've seen this week as well is also just because there's a lot going on with this captain's promo. Again, we know that it's been pre team of the season preparation. People have been saying to sell. You know, We've been knowing that the market drops during this time of the year, and some people were hearing that information and selling. But also, the foot captain's content with the heroes, with the daily player uh, icon moments SBCs, and just the fact that a lot of the same aspect we saw with the showdown series, cards that normally don't get promo cards, got showdown items. It's kind of the same thing with foot captain's promo, right? A lot of these guys that are in foot captains, like Marcelo, first special of the year, um, the, the Busquets, first special of the year, there's plenty of those cards that are getting nice promo upgraded items this weekend. It's just going to be in packs instead of SBC. So I'm excited for foot captains. Let me know down in the comments if you are, if we have any questions, of course, related to the market and stuff like that. If you did enjoy this video, once again, smash a thumbs up on it. And of course, subscribe if you are new. Good luck with your division rivals rewards if you're saving them or whatever it may be. I'm probably going to finish this with just my reward, uh, weekly reward. Three games right now, only a couple hours till rewards. I'm not staying up for that. So I'm just going to end there and take my rewards, take the untradeable packs and go with it. But good luck with your rewards today. Happy Thursday. It's been Nathan Foot Account, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.